here they come and let's listen and watch how Wembley greets the FA Cup finalists of 1970. And this is what it looks like from the tunnel. Two trainers bringing up the rear. The two managers, John Reedy of Leeds, Nearest to us, Dave Sexton of Chelsea, with their Carly old jackets, they won't discard. Billy Bremner, nearest to us, the captain of Leeds. Ron Harris, over on the far side. Gary break of Peter Bonetti, the two goalkeepers. Number nine, Osgood. Paul Maidley. There's Peter Hausman wearing number eight, what a great semi-final he had. Johnny Charles, and then number 10 is Hutchinson. Chelsea, that's Tommy Baldwin, man who only just got into the side because Hudson was unfit. It's Dempsey, the number five, big strong man in defense. <laughs> Charlie Cook will be wearing Number 11, great wizard of the dribble. There's Hutchinson, number 10, Peter Osgood. And they're just a few members of this splendid Chelsea side, which always seems to hit the jackpot in the second half. Now, Hausman is going to operate in midfield with Baldwin joining Osgood and Hutchinson up front as the strikers. Now, it's a formidable looking lineup, but no more formidable than the one that Don Revy has put out in the colours of Leeds United. Now, every one of those players knows what pressure is, what a big occasion is. And if Paul Reaney is going to be missed, there still doesn't look a weakness in that team. Mick Jones had a fight against uh, fitness to make this team, but a very dangerous striker. Number eight, Alan Clark, the twin striker with Jones, man of the match last season. He had a great game for Leicester City, 166,000 pounds for the football of that. Gary Sprague, Welsh, Welsh international, used to all the tensions. And the two captains now meeting the referee, Eric Jennings, Harris on the right, the all dark strip, Willy Bremner letting Harris do the tossing. Those who like to check the colours, all blue Chelsea, all white Leeds. And there is Eric Jennings, the referee from Sarbridge. He ran the line in the 1958 um, Cup Final. Also referee 67 Amateur Cup Final. There's Paul Maitley, the Play Anywhere man, wearing number two. The Leeds, big Jack Charlton, the Giraffe. All boys today from the RAF camp at Holton in Buckinghamshire, so they should be efficient enough. Mick Jones, number nine. Clark, number eight. Mr. Jennings checking all the watches. And the 1970 Cup Final is just about to begin, and it does begin on this soft, sanded pitch, which looks rather like the Goodwin Sands. McCready, number three. Quick turns might well be very dangerous manoeuvres this afternoon. You can already see the players sinking into this soft, sanded surface. Norman Hunter. And you see how that ball wouldn't bounce at all as it approached Benetti. Norman Hunter missed eight games with a bad injury. Giles, the big scheme in midfielder, Cooper. Dempsey, that's good play early on, Dempsey's sensible not to take any risks, nerves are still taut. Asman to Hutchinson, to Cook. Asman read that as if, um, as if 
Maidley was going to clear it. A good pass by Charlie Cookie. Bopped up in the middle. Sprake sensibly wearing gloves. And in fact, at the other end, Bonetti is putting his on. Jones to Giles to Gray. Jones moving to the left. Bremner. Clark. Collins. Took that well under difficult circumstances. It, it's a, a throw in. Throw to Leeds being taken by Lorimer. Number 11, Gray. Lorimer. Gray. And this ball really is just like a pudding. A very badly cooked pudding at that. Hits the surface, it just dies. throw Collins with a throw for Chelsea Leeds throw this time Charles took a risk letting that ball run because it won't run on this side Collins to th number three, McCready. Osgood. A chance came to Os Osgood there, a chance to maybe have a snapshot. Gray. First foul of the match, a free kick to Leeds. Master schemer, Giles, going to take it. No, he's leaving it for Cooper. Cooper, who scored the winning goal for Leeds in the League Cup final here, a couple of seasons so back. Cooper. That's a good old-fashioned shoulder charge, Bremner. Bremner is always coming up with this Leeds attack because Leeds have a score to settle with Chelsea. They played them four times previously in the FA Cup and Chelsea have won all four times. Houseman. McCready. Sixth time at Wembley. He's only been on the losing side once. That was the cup final of 1967. Throw to Chelsea, so here comes Hutchinson with the long throw. Five minutes gone, no score. Now watch the arm action of Hutchinson as he comes in, he always wipes the ball, wipes his hands. Now his arms windmill after he's thrown the ball. Jones, number nine. Cooper, finding Gray, and Gray in space. Into Cooper. He's coming forward all the time in this match. Throw to Leeds. Baldwin coming back to a Harris. Cooper. Gray with the Giles. And Giles slotting that ball through well. 
Hausman. Nobody in too much of a hurry. The fight will be extra time and then we'll need every ounce of stamina. Hutchinson to Baldwin. And Kubal seemed to be pulled back by shirt sleeve. We get to Leeds United. Hunter. Clark. Foul by Harris. Whipping Clark's feet from under him. And Leeds are wasting no time in getting the ball on play. Cook. Osgood. And Bremner finding Giles. Dempsey directing his defence. Lorimer. Giles, I'm mainly up there. Mainly the jack of all trade in this Leeds team. Remner. Lorimer coming inside the back. Great tackle by Charlie Cook, who's not renowned for tackling. trying to play football, pushing the ball around neatly. But they can't turn quickly. Hunter number six. Husband to Harris. Cook. Hutchinson. And it's a free kick. Hutchinson fouled by Charlton. It's McCready, the Scottish international for Chelsea. No hurry. Hutchinson and Osgood very quick to move to that one. And Leeds very quick to crowd him out. Peter Osgood. Leeds ball. Cooper to Hunter. Clark. And Neddy very quick when he dropped that ball. He was under pressure from Jones. And a creep. Hudson. Osgood. Hausman. And a splendid fullback, Cooper. Oh, a bad ball! Terrible ball. Ten minutes gone. No score. Hunter. Lorimer. Remner. Gray. Giles. Leeds are beginning to turn it on. This is something like the old Leeds before fatigue put them on the floor. Bremner. And this is not like the old Leeds to leave Baldwin free. Osgood. Osgood having a word with somebody. Gray. Clark has moved to the left. Foul 
by Webb on Gray. Not a happy position in which to concede a free kick when you've got lethal men in the air like Clark and Jones. Giles with the kick and Jack Charlton, Lorimer! And anywhere within 35 yards of the goal and Lorimer can be lethal. Collins did well to keep that in and it's a throw now to Chelsea. That throw has to be taken from the right spot. Ian Hutchinson was a wee bit too quick then. Still a throw to Chelsea. Freedom. Bremner finding Giles. Lorimer Jones on the right wing. Bremner. Giles. Here comes Maidley. He's contriving to have so many men up in attack. Moving around off the ball better than Chelsea at the moment. And that's why Benetti is one of England's goalkeepers for Mexico. Oscar bringing down Charlton from behind. Jack Charlton moving up now into the penalty box. Cooper is to take the kick. There's Charlton. Maidley, offside Clark. Clark offside, but nevertheless, what a fine catch by Bonetti. Free kick to Chelsea. Chelsea who lost four points to Leeds in the league this season. Dempsey to Cook. Hollands. We try to turn the defence then and get Osgood going through a gap. Osgood didn't read it. Gray. Jones. Giles Bremner. And up comes Madeley. Number seven, Lorimer. Really nice shot at what Bremner shouted then. And that's into a no-man's land and Jones thought that um, Gray was going for it. This is Dempsey. Bremner to Gray. Clark in the middle, so to his Jones. Lorimer. Bremner. Number 10, Giles Gray. Gray just being a little slow on the ball. He's caught in possession about three times. And mainly to Lorimer, number 7. Oh, a great shot. Oh, that really moved. And what a save. That's why I said Lorimer, 35 yards from the goal and he's dynamite. Corner kick to Leeds. Peter Lorimer, Scottish international. So the familiar figure, the big giraffe is there, Charlton. Quarter of an hour gone, no score, corner to Leeds. Can have all the giraffes in the world as long as Chelsea have the netting. Cook. A bit of running by Hollins. Houseman. Oh, it's a beauty! 
And Medley, a great save that was. What a great centre it was by Husband. Husband. Medley saw that it was the centre was pulled away from the goal. Impossible ball for Sprague to take. Leeds can thank Medley. The men to look for now. Number two, Webb. And number five, Dempsey. Way to Giles. Leeds hitting the long ball with daring accuracy. This is Jones. Oh, Lorimer having to switch wings. Giles. Lorimer. Oh, what's a lucky rebound to Clark. Houseman, the most underrated member of the Chelsea squad by the public. Osgood to Hollins. Oh, that won't run. Straight, the one leads band to know that this is like playing football in sort of stodgy rice pudding. Now, Osgood. Baldwin Cook Hutchinson Good effort by number 10 Ian Hutchinson Two years ago in the Southern League Now The striker for Chelsea at Wembley The cup final Go get to Leeds Giles, Maitley, Lorimer, Clark down to Giles, Remner number four, oh it is brought down by Hollins, so right outside the penalty box, maybe a real cracker from Lorimer. Well, it was set up for him. Perhaps if anything, Leeds took that too quickly. That's Hutchinson. And Charles are with him. Now there's only Hunter. Now the momentum has slowed. It was a long stamina sapping run that. Number three, McCready. Webb, and that was David Webb, the back coming up, the man who won't cut his hair till the cup run is over. Gray to Giles, Giles having a great match for Leeds. Clark, Lorimer. Bale, it's a corner, it's a corner. Nick Jones, keeping well upfield, keeping the pressure on this Chelsea defence. And Charlton again in the accustomed position on the goal line. Pretty with him and Osgood. 20 minutes gone, no score. ball come over the in-swinger and as they all go up it, it's Charlton right off the fist and it's McCready missing the kick Charlton getting the header right off the uh, fist of Osgood Chelsea are appealing but it's no good it's a goal so 1-0 Leeds are in the lead 20 minutes gone
and Charlton's the scorer. Free kick to Leeds. It's Cooper. Spoke to the Leeds doctor before the match as a Truthfully, what are the players like? He said they've never been in better heart. Clark to Gray. Eddie Gray, brilliant Scottish player. A bit of an Eddie. I think troubled by that goal, thought he had a raw deal. Hutchinson is fouled by Norman Hunter. Over to our left, the Leeds United choir singing away, and the great electric scoreboard still doesn't know who scored. Webb with the free kick for Chelsea. through the first half leads 1-0 in the lead it's Giles leads to Jones Remner what a player this fellow Bremner is Cooper throw there's Dempsey following Jones everywhere and to take the throw for Leeds. Gray. Bremner. And Cook getting it off him to Houseman. Bremner to Jones, but Bremner fouling Houseman. Bremner, the man who conceded that foul. Madeley breaking up the right. He'll reach that easily under these conditions. Gray will take your time. Eddie Gray had more time than that. He could have stopped it, pushed it and hit it. Mind you, very easy to say that when you're sitting safely up here. There's Peter Benetti. Now, technical kick with him. to Maitland. Jones, who's moving around so intelligently. You notice, as Jones came through that gap, then how Benetti came across and really covered his post. Well, Rick, Leeds people are on the left, there's Don Reeve talking to Les Cocker on the extreme left, Les Cocker in the tracksuit. Behind is Sid Owen, the man who does all the dosses on the opposition. 25 minutes gone, that's 20 minutes left in the first half. Leeds in the lead, 1 0. Well, Cook did well to recover from that. Cooper, Gray, Dempsey very quick into the tackle, he's given nothing away in this Chelsea defence, Jones, Cooper, 
Dempsey there again. Dempsey the ball of Philip Clare. The splendid match of Chelsea. Gray trying the low one to put off the defence. Leeds well on top of this match at the moment. Hunter to Giles. Now Oscar, number seven, Baldwin. Oscar, now can he take them on himself? To Hollins. Osman not quite hitting it. The skid it past his forehead. The Leeds are playing some lovely football, moving the ball around well. Bremner and, and Giles especially have got the midfield in control and that's where victories are engineered. They've not exactly executed. And Giles again winning that ball to Jones. Larimer. Ooh. Gray. Gray knows he can make Webb commit himself. Gray now has told himself that he can take on Webb and beat him. Husband. Collins. Larimer finding Giles. Larimer. I was surprised that Leeds backed away from him then because Lorimer is reputed to have the fiercest shot in the football league. I would have thought someone would have tried to come and crowded him out and crowd him out then. for a short one instead of McCready number three Arthur Jones number nine Clark on the left wing Lorimer on the rocks Leeds finding a lot of room Having a lot of time in his mainly a beautiful ball. Now it's back with Bremner. Uh, Hutchinson, Osgood calling for a long one right across, and Osgood is moving in. With two near break, Osgood positioned well. Maidley to Clark. Quarter of an hour from half time and Leeds playing it coolly and calmly. Slowing it down when they want to. In the lead 1 0. Leeds ball. Uh, Chelsea's ball. Osgood number nine. They're worth playing those balls because that's Cook. He knows that the ball won't run quickly off the turf as it normally does at Wembley, or as it used to do. Brendan. Webb. Finding Hasman. 
Osmond to Cook. Osgood moving to the left. Osgood and Cook has moved forward for a return. Osgood had very little chance, I think, of beating Spray from that distance. Clark to Latimer to Jones. Giles. Gray calling for it and getting it. Doing a good job of covering them. Gets it to McCready, to Hasman. And now Baldwin has he the speed. Sprague. Quick to sense that danger. Good goalkeeping when you move out of your goal and you see it. A long one on the cards. Baldwin. McCready. Cook. With a lot of room in which to work. Cook was hoping, I think, to deceive Sprake then. He made a signal to his colleagues, hoping Sprake would sort of go to the far post. Cook trying to slot it into the near one. Gary Sprake so far hasn't been under any sort of pressure at all. Because Leeds have been coming forward all the time, dictating this game. Remno. Clark. Jones. Remno. Bradley is up. One and another. And two, four, six, seven men on attack leads have got at the moment. Clark that's not a free kick Harris came in well to the tackle that was the ball by Hasman on Bremno and so whoever takes this kick no doubt Giles will be looking for the head of Jack Charlton Is Charlton. Well, Jones will have to do a bit better than that to get a penalty. Cooper. Back to Hunter. Dempsey. Ooh, Webb, I think. Thought that Madrid was going for it. Baldwin, a striker being pressed back hard into defence. Tommy Baldwin played in the 67 Cup final. Lorimer. Screen that ball well to do. Clark. Finding Gray. Gray trying to use his craft to go through when it's the most difficult in the middle. Ten minutes to half time. One nil Leeds United in the lead. And remember, this is their 60th game of the season. Hollins to Hussman. Oh, you can see Bremer saw the tage of the way he went in. Baldwin, gone again. And corner to Chelsea. Up will come there, big fellas. Dempsey. Dempsey, number five, moving up. Baldwin's on the goal line. But it all happens right in the penalty box. Lovely to see confident goalkeepers who move to the ball and say, that's mine. Brenner. 
he'll run for three weeks if it's for Leeds United. Then to Giles, these two have an uncanny understanding. Gray. And up comes Cooper into a yawning gap. And now Hunter. The whole of the Chelsea side except Osgood has been forced back onto the defensive. Giles. Corner kick. Freedy having to get the corner as he knew that Hunter was behind him. Number five, Charlton, the big danger man. Already scored the only goal of the match. Lately. Giles, but it's Holland, Chelsea. Hutchinson already stockings rolled down. That's a sign of tiredness and crap. Hollins, number four. Cook coming on the left. Leeds had everybody up in attack. Now they're packed in defence. Hollins. Hutchinson. Osgood. It's Charlton. Almost put through his own goal. Osgood. Looking at what he has to do to score. Charlton had put through his own goal, he would have been the second man in history to score for both sides in an FA Cup final. The other was, the other was Turner of Charlton Athletic against Derby in the first post-war final. Hollins, number four, Osgood. And Giles. Lottimer. That shows you how bad this pitch is. To Osgood. Up comes Cook. Oh, it's a good aim by Cook. Right. Changed his direction. Made the, the space for himself. Almost slotted it in. Well, good job for Leeds that Jackie Charlton then sorted out his legs in time. Hussman to McCready. Charlton to Maidley. Ah, Lottimer back on this side of the park. Oh, what a bad one from Harris. So unlike him. So unlike Chopper Harris to do a thing like that. Baldwin to Webb. Number 10, Giles. Gray and Hunter moving up in the attack. Baldwin. Charlton took just about everything then. Free kick given to Chelsea. Mr. Jennings, Starbridge, refereeing this game well. So five minutes from half-time. Jackie Charlton was the scorer for Leeds. Houseman, a pure score! <laughs> 41 minutes, and Sprake has let in a sitter. And just look at this shot. There was no danger at all as Hausman hit it through a crowd of players. Sprague has it covered and look what a tragedy for the Welsh international goalkeeper. So, Hausman who got two in the semi-final has pulled Chelsea up by their bootlaces when they seem to be getting lower and lower and lower and equalised four minutes from half-time. But what a soft goal, another one in a long list of soft goals and when there's a fight going on between Hunter and Hutchinson soft by Osgood 
stopped by Osgood. So, Chelsea now back in the game. And what a time to throw away a soft goal. Four minutes of half time. Bremner. Gray to Giles. Cooper. I thought Webb might have gone forward then. It's Cooper. And a corner to. Corner to. Leeds. Cooper such an aggressive back. I seem to remember Joe Mercer saying during this week that Scrape often on the big occasion makes a fatal error. And he's, well, he's made a very big one in this match. Gray with the corner. And Oscar. Cooper. Greedy to Hutchinson. To Baldwin. Cook made his streak on the right wing. Oh, Cook will get it. That's more like Gary Sprague, we know. Bremner. Oh, that's a wretched goal. Houseman. Couple of minutes from half time. Maybe. What a great player this fellow is. Maybe to Gray. Clark on the left wing. Jones have moved to create a gap in the middle. A wonderful save by Benetti. Again, four or five yards out of his goal to narrow the angle. And look at that shot and see where Benetti is. Almost five yards out of his goal. Well, four yards. Great save. Not even to take this quarter kick. The above have arrived, Jay Charlton. Number 11 is Gray. Not even back quickly enough to be onside. Gray, a minute before half time. Dempsey. Dempsey playing this game so sensibly, he will not take a risk. Maidley. Webb. Cooper. Cooper to Maidley. Jones. Webb. Foul by Hunter on Hutchinson. We have the 45 minutes are up by our watch. And the lights were both signaled. 45 minutes. Dempsey to take the free kick. He might not even have time to take it. Another watch out of his pockets. Baldwin. No panic in that Leeds defence. It's Gray. It's Gray. And the whistle goes for half time. One goal each. Jack Charlton after 20 minutes. Houseman, that very soft one. There's Jack Charlton, got the first, heading right up, and there's Houseman, who got the second. Shot from some 30 yards, which Sprake let go under his body. Sprake, who must, who hoped that a hole would open up so he could drop in. And that's what it's like if you were in the tunnel. There's Clark on the left. There's Eddie 
Caprini, number three. Baldwin of Chelsea. Charlton, one of the goal scorers. The Royal Highness Princess Margaret, who will present the cup to the winners at the end. And there's Viscount Lindley just on the left, and I gather he plays a pretty fair game of football himself. Chelsea to start the second half. And off they go, one goal each. And still the players sink into this soft sand. Cooper. Jones fouled by Dempsey. Five Dempsey who's kept very close to Jones throughout the whole of the match. He played so well. Free kick to Leeds United. Cooper to take it. Giles and Dempsey there again. Baldwin. Osgood. Osgood streaking down the middle. It's number 10 Hutchinson. Hutchinson noticed those stockings rolled right down. Not a bit of protection then for those shins, but no doubt he's feeling the strain of playing at Wembley. It was always a tiring ground to play on, but this, well. And the sun must be strong. It's Frank wearing a cap. Thank goodness we've seen the sun. Hollins to Osgood. Hunter. Number nine, Jones. Marima. Cook, number 11, coming back to reinforce the defence. Maitland. Gray. Clark. Maitland. Just no bounce at all on this pitch. Gray. Good shot by Gray because Benetti was beginning to move to his left and suddenly had to stop. Don Reedy said that he would order Leeds to attack and he's been true to his word. Giles. And I'm afraid the ball's gone into one of our camera pits. It's a view by him. Ball, it looks suspiciously like it too. Charlton. And a foul by Dempsey. You see, it's almost impossible to play the ball from the position Dempsey was in there. So he almost has to foul the man. The Bremner now. Moving forward into the penalty box, shadowed by Halsman. Giles taking the kick, up goes Charlton. And Osgood there to block him. Larimer. This has certainly been a splendid FA Cup final. But two rather soft goals. Time Giles has hit one first time, and it's always well worthwhile having a dip from that distance. The ball's been bobbing around. Benetti, the cat, as they call him at Stamford Bridge. Hollins. That ball, no, it is play on. Referee was right there. Number nine, Jones. To Bremner. He's got Cooper very close to him. The 
Yes, Cooper. Yeah, when he was needed. Now Webb to Cook. Hussman going on the left to Cook. Leeds have been exposed at the moment. Hutchinson. He, he could only have dropped that one short. Osgood was there. Five minutes of the second half gone. One each. Behind by McCready. Free kick to Leeds. There's a bit of McCready. Some of the crowd groaning, but McCready knew he had to foul the man. Clark and Dempsey, Maidley, Gray. Him his leg back. Cook, but it's Cooper. Cooper to Gray, now Bremner. Giles. And Dempsey once again for Chelsea. Husband, McCready on his left, and Holland trying to break down the middle. It's Cooper for Leeds. Eddie Gray loves to take on Webb. He's got Baldwin there as well. Corner kick. Eddie Gray has got the beating of Webb. He loves to take him on. But the Chelsea fans quite happy insofar that throughout the cup this season Chelsea have been a great second half team. Sixth corner for Leeds. It's against two for Chelsea. There's Charlton. Larimer to take the corner. That's a good corner at all with Charlton right on the goal line. And Baldwin. Who's he got breaking with him? Nobody. And Baldwin did very well to keep that ball so long. McCready. And Osgood. Hutchinson. And what great... Oh, no! These are in trouble. Hutchinson. Baldwin. Hausman. Hutchinson, and again, great goalkeeping, it's Osgood. And it's, Gray was fouled from behind, but but two great saves by, by Sprake. All he could do was block the ball. Brave goalkeeping, and that's Eddie Gray, the man who was injured, as he brought the ball out, and I think Sprake who had a marvellous inspired spell then both trainers on now Hutchinson is down and look at it again now watch this sequence that's Hutchinson that's a brave goalkeeping he's nudged out of his hand Osgood saved on the line and Gray taking it away from Sprake a tremendous Sort of mix up the first time Leeds have looked in real trouble. Somebody's studs must have scraped down the side of Gary Sprake's body. That's Dave Sexton, the Chelsea manager. Alan Bert Burchin all behind him in the fair hair. Alan Hudson just fingering his lips. And Gray all right again. The first time, incidentally, we've seen the trainers on the pitch. So. 
Hello and goodbye to Les Cocker of Leeds and Harry Medhurst of Chelsea. Gray. Harris, the bat clones. Gray. Ten minutes gone, one each. Ten minutes of the second half. Giles. Lorimer Johnson. Dempsey at Benetti. What a goalkeeper this fellow Benetti is. All stemmed that from a bad pass by Harris. A Baldwin in this final really living up to its name. Maidley. To Cooper. To Hunter. Maidley, Cooper. This is the man that started the rot when these two teams met in a league match at Stamford Bridge. Cooper. And who equalised for Leeds that they went on to win 5-2. This is Lorimer. Jones. Back to Giles. Clark. That is Cook. Holland. Join him on this right wing. Charlton finding Clark. Leeds still look the more convincing coming forward. Lauren. Number nine, Jones. Clark! Well, Clark did everything right. Osgood. Hasman going on the right wing. Maidley to Cooper. Calm, cool play by Maidley and by Cooper. Now Lorimer. To Maidley. Gray, Giles and Cooper is now up with the attack on the left. Oh, that bobble badly for Giles as he shot. Johnny Giles, brother-in-law, Nobby Styles, played here in a cup final for Manchester United. And also, of course, for Leeds. 1965, Benetti having a splendid match for Chelsea. They don't come any better than Peter Benetti as goalkeepers. Baldwin cutting across Cooper very cleverly then. Osgood, up comes Hollins. Maidley, Giles, Brenda. What a wonderful trinity to have on your side. Brenda to Giles to Gray. Jones on the right, screaming for it. It's a bit difficult for Gray to slot the ball to him though. It's all right now. Giles. Jones. Rembrandt. Lorin. Netty to Osgood. Oh, yes.
Yes, and it just needed a flick. Gray was hoping someone could run into that. Gray and great running by this fella Cooper. And Dempsey once again, a wonderful tackle. Quarter kick. Been around in so many situations, Dempsey has. And Cooper has created so many dangerous situations for the Chelsea defence. And Charlton moving up to the goal line. Lorimer moving across to take the corner. There's Charlton, Osgood with him. McCready in front of him. And Benetti still getting to it. Benetti asking for a bit of protect protection, I think. Very hard for a goalkeeper to move to the ball with so many players around him. Gray to take this corner. Not often do we see Benetti fail to catch them. Jones. Osgood as a defender. Hunter. That'll be all right for Gray. To Giles. Jones. Charlton. Corner. And the crowd really warming to this game. They're loving it. Lorimer with the corner. Good positive goalkeeping by Benetti. 20 minutes of the second half gone. One each. And Leeds really putting the pressure on Chelsea. Keep keeping them at full stretch all the time. Ray to Lorimer. Good calling by Benetti. That was the reason that Webb ducked and let the ball go through. Now Norman Hunter. Oh, it's on his wrong foot, on his right. He only stands on that. Jones. Giles. Gray. Cooper. David Webb looking happy enough. Eddie Gray and Cooper. Terry Cooper. A player who is playing for England next Saturday. Goodness, we've got him in Mexico. Manetti having a splendid game for Chelsea. It's out of play, yes. Number 11, Gray. Well, there was no offence there because Webb made no effort to foul him. It was just a collision as Gray tried to change direction. Baldwin to Hutchinson. Baldwin. Cooper, is Giles there, and it's in play. All the ball must be over the line for it to be out of play. Midway through the second half, and it's one each. And Cooper's breaking down the left again. This is Gray with the ball. Lot him up. That was really moving. Peter Lorimer. 
could only have got on top of the ball, got right over it, kept it low. Skipper Billy Brenner to take this one. Charlton's up in the box. Gray, Lorimer. Clark. That they all go on. Webb. And Cook. And Jones is down, injured. That's McCready. Nick Jones, who's injured. But the game goes on, quite rightly. Collins. Ooh, and Cooper just got his head to it. Skinning off his hair cream. Baldwin. At full stretch, Sprake was. Jones getting to his feet now and hobbling off. And the referee has signaled his thanks to Nick Jones for doing that. And the crowd too signaled their thanks with a round of applause. And I think now it'll have, it'll have to be a drop ball unless Lorimer is hurt. Lorimer is hurt, so the uh, Chelsea trainer, Harry Medhurst, has got to come on and have a look at Peter Lorimer. So, Harry Medhurst, Chelsea, looking after Lorimer of Leeds. That's one of the England trainers, Les Cocker, the trainer of Leeds. I think that looks like cramp. It looks as if it's, it's cramp in the right leg. Well, that muscle looks as if it's marble enough now. So, Les Cocker, pick up your bags and run. Nick Jones is all right. And the referee signalling to um, Les Cocker that another one of his players is injured. So Mick Jones has both stockings down. And that's what it would be like if you were Gary Sprague. the loneliest man on the park when he's standing there one slight mistake he makes the balls at the back of the net as he well knows so everybody fit not ever okay the game starts with a drop ball this game well refereed played in a fine spirit great Red committed himself too soon then Cooper's coming up in support inside. Here's Cooper. Giles. Certainly Leeds United have cracked him in. That was Johnny Giles. Era International. And the spectators certainly had their money's worth. 100,000 people. And only counting the uh, real price of tickets, £128,000 paid for the tickets. But outside, they were selling them at almost awe-inspiring prices. Jones to Giles. And Gray. Jones, Gray, Clark, great appeal behind them, and the six of one, half a dozen of the other, the linking of arms and pushing. Oh, Charlton committed himself far too soon, a bit lucky to get away with that. It's 
Charlton, who scored the goal for Leeds. 17 minutes to go, one each. Far. Again, the tackle from behind, having to take the player's legs. In this case, the legs of Alan Clark. And they're worth £83,000 each, so they're expensive. Lorimer with the free kick. Leeds United. Great goalkeeper, Benetti. Harris. Maybe to Giles. Houseman. Rebner buzzing behind him. Went to Cook. And Houseman ran so beautifully off the ball. Then. And oh! Charlton! Charlton and Hunter almost let break in a terrible mess. And it was Houseman who nearly killed them again. Cooper to Lorimer, Giles to Renner, and this fella Gray again taking on Webb. He doesn't doesn't complete the build-up quickly enough. He slows down. Oh. It's certainly pulling the Leeds defence apart. The Chelsea defence apart. Great goalkeeping again by Benetti, but certainly Eddie Gray is tearing this Chelsea defence apart. One wonders how long Chelsea can stand this pressure. They've got another quarter of an hour to go. Hutchinson seems to be feeling the pace a bit now. Houseman. Hollins. Creedy. Pick up the loose ball. Clark to Gray. Lorimer. Hunter. Bremner taking over. Lorimer. Anybody there, Jones? And throw to Smith Jones. A bit, still suffering a bit from that crap. Gray. It's one time he didn't win. Cook inside to Hollands. Cook number 11. He can do for Chelsea what Gray is doing for Leeds. Osgood. Chelsea's throw. Peter Osgood scored in every round so far, so he's doubly anxious to get a goal now in the remaining 13 minutes. Hollins with the throw. Chelsea. And a goal kick. I think that Hutchinson is feeling the pace a wee bit. I think that's why he didn't take the throw in, because these players know that this is such a tight match that it's beginning to look as if we're going to have extra time and then, my goodness, stamina's going to tell. You get teams of this quality, the slightest error can give away a goal. Hollins to Baldwin. To Osgood. And Lorimer coming back for Lee. I think Leeds will not want extra time if you explains his game against Celtic in the European Cup. Now Jones. 
Hunter has gone up almost as now it's another tackle at the moment. Clark, Lorimer. Even the best laid plans of Vice Ben and number sevens. Notice the Hunter's gone back into his normal centre back row. It's Clark. Clark to Lorimer. And Dempsey again. And notice Giles hanging with a loose ball. Gray. Oh, he should have slotted it through to. Oh, he's hit the bar. Well, he did the right thing in the end. But I thought he should have slotted it through to Giles. But what a shot. So 11 minutes left. Gray again. To Bremner. Bremner pushing that one. Bremner pushing that one much too far forward. Osgood. Here comes Cook. Cooper <laughs> signaling to Hunter to go back. He'll take Cook first. That's a beautiful one to Hausman. Oh, Hasman should have done better than that. And I think Hutchinson's telling him. Because the defence kept off him. Rather strange for Leeds United. So I imagine Brenner's had something to say about that. Well, only ten minutes left. Ten minutes between us and extra time. One each. Well, Billy Brandon will go on through extra time and even playing another hour and a half if necessary. Clark for Leeds come forward throughout the whole of the match. Chelsea relying on quick breaks from defensive positions. And his, for my money, the man of the match, Terry Cooper. To Gray. Oh, he telegraphed that. Bremner, Cooper. Hollins. Baldwin. Osgood to Hollins. Houseman, and there's McCready breaking on the left. Giles after him. Number four, Hollins. Osgood. Cook. It was a beautiful ball. Meant for Baldwin. Fortunately for Leeds, Hunter spotting it. Ray to Hunter. He'll get it off his right foot. Maidley. Mainly to Giles. Lorimer. Giles still in space, unmarked. This is Giles. And Clark. Didn't quite get up high enough. You've got to get above the ball to be able to head the ball down. Ron Harris has kept this Chelsea side together well. He knows his defence has been under pressure all the time. And the tension mounting now. As the 90 minutes draws to a close. To give a goal away now, there's pretty little chance of pulling it back. Now Baldwin. Anybody who does give a goal away now will find that Perhaps won't have time for the equaliser. Nice Giles. So I should imagine now that both teams will try and play it tight. Almost play for extra time now. Except Leeds, who seem to want to go forward all the time. Render to Giles. Clark, it's hit the post. A goal, Jones. Jones 
has done it. And Jones has gone berserk. Seven minutes to go and watch this. Brenda sending it to Giles. Now the watch clock headed, it hits the post. It comes out and it looks as if the chance has gone. Not even in comes Jones. And that one slotted just inside the post. So Jones has made it 2-1 for Leeds. Seven minutes to go. And Don Reby almost ran onto the pitch, I think. So it's 2-1. Don Reby rarely does he show his emotion, but he did then. Running onto the pitch is kept off by officials. And there was a crap to Johnny Giles. The Giles has had a splendid match. This is the third cup final for Chelsea. They haven't won one of the previous two. They were beaten in 1915 and in 1967. But there's still enough talent for them to come back into this game, but not very much time. Leeds United, this team that thrives on work and on football. Brenda to Major. Have a pretty cook. Hollins number four. Harris, Osgood. So five minutes left. Five minutes between Leeds and the Cup. But now then, it's a free kick to Chelsea. Right now, it's a case of all up. Dempsey's going up, number five. Webb's going up. Then they're calling his men back. And to Hollins with the free kick. Hutchinson, a goal! Watch this as Hutchinson gets to the near post, gets right up to it, and Spraker's got no chance. A great near post goal by this youngster, Ian Hutchinson. Four minutes to go. What a sensational final. So Ian Hutchinson, who looked as if fatigue was getting the better of him, has put Chelsea back in the game. Final looks set for extra time. Osgood, or does it? Husband. And it was Hutchinson there again. And a break. And a clip on the nut, I think, but he's all right. Hutchinson. This great goal snatcher. Three minutes plus injury time to go, and it's two each. And McCready took a risk playing that ball like that, and he's hurt. And Benetti sportingly throwing the ball out so the trainer can come on. Greedy gets attended to. It's the turn of the Chelsea fans. Well, what a great cup final these people have seen. That's the position, two minutes left. And Les Cocker has run on 
to give a bit of advice, I think, to some of his players. He's wiping their faces with cold sponge. McCready is all right. Teddy McCready. It's a throw to Leeds. Well, I'm sure the players wouldn't like it, but nobody minds, no spectator minds extra time of this sort of football. Cook. Cook back to Webb. Baldwin. Free kick to Chelsea. Tommy Baldwin injured. Jack Charlton, the man who brought him down. We don't stop our watch at all during a match. And there are about 30 seconds left for play, but there's been quite a lot of injury time. And whenever these two sides have met, we've had a splendid match. This has been no exception. Seven minutes from the end, we thought the cup was on the way to Yorkshire. And in three minutes, it was all square again. Baldwin all right. We're now playing injury time. But Brady. And there's Dempsey up for the attack. Hunter. Play to Cooper. Hunter. Charlie, they call him at Stamford Bridge. Webb number two, Dempsey number five have come up. There's Webb, now there's Houseman. Houseman just had to hit that hopefully towards the goal. We've had a minute of injury time. goes for the end it's all over but we now have extra time so Don Reeby coming off very quickly and this will be a great test now if the scores are level at the end of another half hour then the replay will be at Manchester United on the 29th of April Never had an FA Cup replay since the final. Moved here to Wembley. There's Bremner. Bremner leading the Chelsea men. Just to remind you, two each. And Hinton now has come on instead of Harris. So leads to kick off. Hinton instead of Harris. So Leeds kick off 15 minutes each way, and it's the fittest team that's going to win this. A foul charge by McCready on Jones. Eddie McCready, number three, Scottish international. Bremner to take the free kick for Leeds. Well, that was Baldwin. Two right legs. Gray. And that's here. 
That cheers just for the Scottish Cup final result. A repeat for you, Aberdeen have beaten Celtic 3-1. The sensation of the century, I should think. Gray for Leeds United. Atkinson to Baldwin. There's the linesman, it's still in play. Still in play. That's Cooper. Cooper to Gray. That will never do. A body check by Webb on number 11, Gray. And the second, first half of extra time, like the rest of the game, leads coming forward. FA Cup Finals have disappointed us. This one certainly hasn't. Oh, great running by Cook. Ran 30 yards off the ball. Maidley. Remnant to Lorimer. Jones moving to the right. This is Jones. Finding no one in support up front. Big Jones has had such a fine season alongside Alan Clark. things down and it's Johnny Hollands who took the full weight of that Johnny Giles really body checked Johnny Hollands who's now come back to this world he's just been told what happened Johnny Holland's a bit of pain, but he's a tough little hombre. It's all right. Free kick to Chelsea. Been taken by Dempsey. Webb. Handball. Collins to take the free kick for Chelsea. He'll be looking for either Webb number two or Dempsey number five. The big lads have gone up from the back. And Jack Charlton there for Leeds. Houseman to McCready. And a goal! Oh, I thought it was there. Great save, a wonderful shot from Dempsey. I didn't think anybody could have taken that ball, but Sprague must have seen it all the way. Tremendously reflex save. Five minutes gone of extra time. Corner to Chelsea being taken by Hausman. and Maidley bursting out he's got Jones up with him and his Clark to Gray Leeds always managed to make something out of nothing Gray and Giles and a great save by Webb 
What a save that was by Webb. It was a desperate lunge. Just look at it again. As Gray screws it back. Benetti's beaten. Giles hits for an open goal. And look at that lunging over the top by David Webb. Well, that looked a certain third goal for Leeds. Not ever to take the corner for Leeds. Not even Charlton can put off the netting. Hunter and Clark has come back from an offside position. Free kick to Chelsea. Clark a wee bit slow to come back. Collins to take the free kick for Chelsea. Webb. Osgood. Here comes Hollins. Ooh, Charlton almost not definite enough. We're just letting that ball trickle through. It won't trickle through on this sort of sand pit that Wembley has become. And Maidley. Maidley across to Hunter. Billy Brenner. Hunter. Lorimer. Clark. Oh, he came on the blind side of Hinton. Hinton, who's come on now in the extra time for Harris. Cook. Baldwin all on his own on the right. Cooper leads to Giles. Remner on his right. It's Gray. Clark, number 10. Giles. Out of play. Out of play. It's a nasty ball for Lorimer to take. to Chelsea Leeds United had only conceded one goal in the cup until this final now they've conceded two in one goal that's a foul on Charlton surely Charlton not liking it. We get to Leeds. Number four, Brenda. Lorimer. Clark coming away from his shadow. And being pressurized into make, hitting a bad one. Alan Clark. Second successive cup final. This is the third time the London club has played a Yorkshire club in the cup final at Wembley. Two previous matches were won by the London club. Bremner holding Hutchinson, free kick. Free kick to Chelsea. Five minutes left before half-time in extra time. Baldwin, it's out with Giles, to Bremner. A lot of her. Chelsea have been more aggressive in this extra time than at any time during the match. And of all people, the Iron Man Norman Hunter is having trouble with crack. That's Norman Hunter 
treated very expertly by Gary Sprague. Hunter to Gray. Cooper number three. Lorimer. Baldwin is rather careless. Remner to Cooper. Cooper had a fine match, always coming up in attack. And Lorimer seems to be down, suffering from cramp. This is when we're perhaps going to get a lot of stoppages for cramp because the Wembley pitch used to be very tiring because it was a cushion of lovely lush grass. Now it's just a mixture of mud and sand. This is Leeds United's second cup final. The second time they've had to play extra time. Number nine, Mick Jones. We'd love to see the back of uh, Dempsey, I should think. Dempsey followed him all through the match. Lorimer, all right again. Telltale signs, stockings roll down. Remnant. Dangerously loose, but it's a free kick. It's a free kick to Chelsea. Clark using his hands to get extra height. Fouling Benetti. It's almost half time of extra time. So Benetti has had such a fine match. He's had much more to do than Sprake. He's done it all magnificently, as always. Webb to Osgood, to Hutchinson to Cook. The Cook's track, Jack Charlton out of the middle. Osgood, offside. Osgood was offside. Leeds. Looked like the side of Jack Charlton being dragged out to the wing. So take the kick with Gary Smith. Clark. To Gray. And his ball went back in defence. Gray, who's played so well on the left, taking Webb on and beating him most times. Webb. Oh, a bad mistake by Webb, it's Giles. Giles to Jones. Oh, it's a real mud, mud bath there, like a sand pit. And Dempsey looks hurt. Lorimer. Clark has hit the bar. That's the third time Leeds have hit the woodwork. Remner. Lorimer. McCready has heard he overstretched himself. He could well have badly pulled the muscle. And there are a quarter of an hour is up. And watch this. Now, Gray, now watch this action again. As the ball's put in the middle, there's Clark. Just picks his butt, bang, and there's another let off for Chelsea. Harry Medhurst seems to be quite happy they'll get him right. Paul Maitley, who's going up into the penalty area. Leeds trying everything to get a half-time lead. 
half time and extra time. Brenda right on the goal line with Charlton. Corner to lead. Maidley. And Paul Maidley coming up with everybody else. Leeds only had Hunter back then. We've had one minute of injury time of extra and the first half of extra time. Now if you can work that out, it means that give up. The whistle will go any moment now, and then we'll have 15 minutes left. In fact, the whistle goes now, and it's two each at the end of half of extra time. And I should imagine that the um, 100,000 spectators would need to go in extra training for this. Twenty-two, very, very tired players. Oh, Billy Bremner, nothing to him. Two hours, still calling his men on. Eddie McCready, something bit from a stretch leg muscle, but he'll be all right, I think. Houseman. Number eight who got the first goal. So, here we go. Chelsea to kick off. No more extra time after this. It's a replay at Manchester United, the 29th, if they can't settle it in the next 15 minutes. McCready now discarded the tapes around his stockings. Bremner. Bremner at two. Number seven, Lorimer. Hinton. And Lorimer was being tripped by husband. Mr. Jennings kept fine control of this match. Well, sorry to lose him from the Football League list. Lorimer to take the free kick. Cooper, Bremner, Hunter, number seven is Lorimer, and Dempsey there again for Chelsea. McCready to Hutchinson, Baldwin coming close to him, a cook taking over, and that's left Charlton floundering. Houseman, the extra man. Osgood! I don't think that would have counted if it had gone in at all. The referee is signalling that he fouled in. That's Cooper. Well, that's what I call... That's what I call sportsmanship. Osgood doing the trainer's job. And let's watch it again as Hausman makes the extra man, pulls that back, Osgood comes in, and I think he's been penalised. You see how his arms went first, and he just pushed his man away. I think the referee has penalised him for it. Nevertheless, it's a good jump. The Leeds can ill afford to lose Terry Cooper. Peter Lorimer would love to get a free side of goal from 35 yards or less. Cooper, Cooper, fit him well, but again the telltale stockings pull down. They do that to stop any restriction around their legs. A sign of cramp. Baldwin trying to hustle and the hustling Charlton. Incidentally, if it's a draw, it's the first draw for 58 years, the first at Wembley. As Cook... That's 
showed Cook's great ball control. 12 minutes to go. Clark back to Hunter. Giant. Here comes Bremner. Well, he won't want to remember that shot. The Netty hero of many great matches for Chelsea and for England. See how badly cut up that pitch is. Eleven minutes to go. What a countdown. Eleven minutes to Old Trafford on the 29th. McCready to Baldwin. To Webb. Osgood. Oh, he took that neck. Oh, the referee didn't like the way he took it though. It's penalised him. Obviously, Osgood was leaning on Charlton or pushing him. And Jones pushed down by Dempsey. So oh, the quick free kick. Gray, ten minutes left. Gray to Lorimer, Madeley coming up on the right. Oh, McCready committed himself too quickly. Jones! Well, that was a wonderful header by Jones, and Bonetti treated it almost with contempt. Houseman. Cook. A husband. Husband screening the ball. It's so annoying for the defender and Bremner has been penalised. And again, and husband now is having cramp trouble. Oh yes. The crowd are laughing, but it's not funny, this. It's a terrible pain. I think Norman Hunter's screwing it off. Harry Medhurst there. And now David Webb, it now that's very... Uh, it's Hutchinson sitting down, doing his exercises to... That is to keep Grant from coming off. Right, everybody on the feet. Houseman to take the free kick. Let's break out to Gray. Well, if we'd known this, I think the spectators would have gone in for special training for this sort of excitement of good football. Hunter, Hunter across to Maitley. Lorimer, Hunter. Oh, that just bubbled right away from him as he hit it. say this is the superstition final well the last time mr jennings had a final here the amateur final it was draw believe it or not the replay was in manchester seven minutes left and it's two each so mr jennings on 
a repeat performance. Jones. Remley. Oh, cut to the wrist then. Still it made off. Cooper to Gray. Osgood. Charlton coming up for this corner. Charlton coming up, shattered by Hutchinson. Chelsea have ten men back in their own box. Leeds have eight men up in the Chelsea box. Have another goal. Six minutes left. Jones. Charlton. Gray. Cook for Chelsea. To Osgood. It's Cook. No time for bending down, rubbing your tired legs. Husband. Now McCready. Hollins. And Cooper, helping sprint. Ray came out very bravely and very definitely then. Five minutes left of extra time to each. Now it's number 10, Giles. Trying to walk to the near post. And to won't be put off. McCready. Baldwin. Chelsea ball, Houseman number eight, Hinton, five pigeons just taken off from the pitch in terror. Goalkeeping and Houseman is in trouble. Larimer, good goalkeeping by Benetti. Houseman is limping painfully, but the game goes on. Gray, Cooper. Number 10, Giles. Gray. Clark, Gray. And Hutchinson. Gray has gone down. Hunter, Cooper on the left, and Charlie Cook, three minutes left and Hollins for Chelsea, leads are a bit stretched, it's Hutchinson, Warwick's trying to turn round, Hollins calling for him to scrape back, Break from Houseman. Hunt, free kick. It's a free kick. Watch this now. See number four calling for the ball. But it's put to Houseman. And there's the man offside, number 10, Hutchinson. Just to prove what a good referee. We've got a what two good lights, but I never notice Hutchinson there. And the lines was flagging. Free kick to free kick to Chelsea. We're looking in the program. 18 
pressmen were asked for their forecasts, only one of them, Graham Taylor of the Sporting Life, gave it a draw. And you can see the position, two minutes to go of extra time, and it's two each. Let's be honest, really, neither of these two sides deserves to lose the cup today. to Hunter, one minute left. And Benetti. Benetti, tremendous catcher of the ball. Lucky to have two goalkeepers like Gordon Banks and Peter Benetti. Now Osgood. To Hausman. Hausman again. A Giles. And these players just won't slow it down. Hunter. By our watch, the 15 minutes are up. So we are now in injury time of the 90 minutes extra time the lot. Remner. Webb trying to find Baldwin. And there's a free kick to Chelsea, Baldwin being fouled by Cooper, everybody up for this one now. So free kick to Chelsea, Holland, Webb, and it's out with Jones. And one minute of injury time in extra time. The last time it was a draw was 1912 when Barnsley and West Bromwich Albion drew. And it's a draw in 1970, the first time since 1912 a great match has ended. The last time, 1912 at Crystal Palace. And so, it's a replay on the 29th at Old Trafford. And the two teams congratulating each other. And David Webb, Billy Bremner, what a great final this has been. The players thought that they were not going to be presented, but I think they are. I think they are going to be presented to Her Royal Highness Princess Margaret, and my goodness how well they deserve it. And Ron Harris, who didn't play in the extra time, leads Chelsea. Ron Harris painfully pulling himself up. Mr. Stanley Rouse, Mr. Wilson. Ron Harris, and in Her Royal Highness, seems to have enjoyed it. Well, let's hope she can come to Old Trafford. Eddie McCready, Peter Osgood, John Hollins. There's Eddie McCready, Peter Osgood, Johnny Hollins. Peter Hausman, Charlie Cook. Now, Dempsey.